All right, if you are just joining us, good morning to you. We are getting everybody ready for Thanksgiving because we are all going to be eating real good. You know, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, stuffing, turkey, yams, pie. We want to make sure you know how to work all of that off after stuffing your face, right? So here with us to show you some moves are Leah and Nagy with Pure Bar. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely, thanks for having us. So can you first just tell the people what is Pure Bar? So Pure Bar is a little bit of a combination of yoga, Pilates, and then isometrically held strength training. So have you ever done a forearm plank before? Um, I don't know. I did the plank <laughs> challenge back in the day. Yes, is that absolutely. Okay. So okay. a plank is actually one of the best moves to kind of describe what Pure Bar is. Holding that full body move until your body goes into fatigue. That's kind of what we do at Pure Bar. Into fatigue. This yes. is so fun. Okay, so you guys have started Planksgiving. We have started Planksgiving, right? So for this holiday season, we are, you know, just talking about planks. We've got some fun classes going on through participating studios throughout the country where we are doing some planks, seeing how long you can hold your planks with some Thanksgiving themed moves within them. I'm literally sweating because I'm so <laughs> nervous. I'm about to embarrass myself on TV. So let's get started here. We've got the turkey leg plank. Yes, so we're gonna do the turkey leg plank. So y'all can go ahead and come down onto the ground. So you're gonna come into a forearm plank. So from here, you wanna make sure that your core is pulled in tight. So turkey leg plank, you're gonna squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings and just start to alternate lifting the legs. So you can see how your abs start to really hold your body. Your shoulders are stabilizing against the ground. You're getting a little bit of a glute burn as well. Am I shaking? You're can starting you to shake. You're going to feel that burn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I feel it. So <laughs> next thing that we have, we're going to squash your obliques. So if you want to go ahead and come onto your left forearm. Okay, I had to give you, a little break. Okay, you've got we're this. Over here. So when you're on your left forearm, you want to make sure your abs are stacked. You can take your right hand to your hip, and you're just going to lower your hips down and then lift them back up. So you are squashing your obliques down. This is stabilizing your shoulder. 360 degree core work here and working into the lower abdominals as well. So now we're gonna level it up a little bit. We're gonna take it into a cranberry crusher. I'm watching her. So you Maggie is me. going to demonstrate this for us. So the cranberry crusher, you're gonna take your left arm, reach it long, stack your hips, float your top leg, and then bring your knee into your elbow. <sighs> So you've got a little bit of a balance challenge with this as well, really working into your obliques, holding up through your shoulders. The entire core is working from here. There we go. That's you got one. it, Lana, you're killing it. All right, Kill we have another one that we're going myself. into. Once you go ahead and rotate back down to your forearms, we're gonna walk the plank. So we're gonna press it up to a straight arm plank and then walk it right back down. So you can just kind of continue that move. This works on stabilizing your core, working into your balance, making sure that your quads, your glutes, and your hamstrings are being worked. And then our last one, you're gonna press it up to that straight arm plank one more time. This is our potato masher, and you are just going to alternate dipping your hips from side to side, getting really deep into your outer obliques with this work. Oh my God. Woo! You're starting to feel that heart rate build up, right? This is what we mean by a full body fatigue right here. Are we done? You're done. Oh. You made it through. And oh that's just God. a little bit of a taste of our class. You killed it. Awesome job, y'all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that's awesome. So why should people uh, get involved with this kind of thing? Yeah, so Pure Bar is really great because um, not only is it obviously been able to do right, we don't do a lot of movement within the class, but we're able to really create a full body burn and fatigue throughout. So no matter like what your physical limitations are, if you've got injuries, we are high, high energy and intensity, but low, low impact. So low impact meaning one foot is always gonna be on the ground at any time. Okay. So it is really applicable to anybody, no matter what your fitness goals are, whatever it may be, we've got something for you at Pure Bar. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so oh, much. I'm out of breath. I don't know if you can see the sweat on me. <laughs> oh, this is too much. We gotta send this over to Brooks.